Okay, call this one windshield wipers. What we're gonna do is take the basketballs back and forth, side to side, just like this. Now you go, why do you do a drill like this? I'm gonna stop and show you something. When you're dribbling the basketball, there's basically five places on the basketball you can dribble. On top, left, right, front, and back. And you use them in different times of the game. If you're just standing still, you'll just dribble right on top of the basketball. If you're running and you want to pull it back, now you're controlling the basketball from the front. If you're running down the court, perhaps, in a, in a fast break, or if you're trying to break a press and you want to dribble the basketball from behind your leg, you have to control it from the back. If you want to do a crossover, that's on my right side. If you do it in and out, that's on the left side. So you've got to be able to control the basketball on the top, left, right, front, and back. And these next couple of drills that we're about to do will demonstrate how to work on that. So this, this one, windshield wiper, you're dribbling left and right. The next one we're going to do is push and pull. You're going to dribble forward and back. Okay? So windshield wiper, obviously, if you want to do windshield wiper with one basketball, what you do, you put your feet together, very important. You dribble the basketball across your body. I'm catching the ball outside of my body here on the right side, outside of my body here on the left side, okay? Outside, outside, back and forth, back and forth, okay? Controlling the basketball. The ball bounces right on my feet, right in the middle of my feet, okay, but I'm controlling. Now I'm doing it with left hand, remember? If you do it right, I'm gonna do the same thing left, right, left, okay? So you're not a one-sided basketball player, okay? Now, with these things, you can do them, when you're doing windshield wipers and even push and pull, you can do them several different ways to challenge yourself. What, the way I was doing it, that was pretty normal, okay? Made a little mistake. But you can also just dribble the ball real hard and real high, like this. Just real hard and real high. That's a challenge because sometimes you lose it, okay? Or you can dribble it down low really quick, okay? And push yourself to go faster and faster. This one's harder and harder, okay? That one's faster and faster. If I do it right, same thing left. Faster and faster, left hand going back and forth, all right? Left hand high, harder and harder, controlling the basketball. Ball by, whoa! Make a mistake, you know what to do, all right? Right in the middle, try it again, harder and harder, okay? Now, that's one hand. It becomes more difficult, obviously, when you do it with two hands, okay? Up high, two hands, back and forth, okay? Medium, back and forth, a little bit faster, down low, quicker, back and forth, back and forth. Let's close our eyes, challenge ourselves a little more. All right, you can even spread your legs on this one. When you're doing two basketballs, give you a better balance. All right, now here's something I don't think I do this in my assembly, but I'm keeping one basketball still, and I'm going side to side, windshield wipe with the other one. This develops coordination, okay? Doing two different things with the basketball. Left one stays still, right one goes side to side. Switch. Right one stays still, left one goes side to side. Remember, anything you do with your right hand, you want to do the same thing with your left. Start off slow, faster. Start off slow, faster. Next.